sound speeds. And if you're like me, you're a collector of microphones, not just new microphones, but old ones as well. Prowling websites like eBay or Craigslist and going to brick and mortar stores like Music Go Round can help you find some great deals on used microphones. But when you're going through the specifications of some of these vintage microphones, you might get thrown off by one of the specifications you see. Sensitivity. You might think to yourself, I don't have the preamps for this. What am I going to do with this old microphone if I can't even drive it? Let me share something with you. A vintage microphone I recently picked up on eBay. This is the AKG D120E. And if you ever watched the television show Soul Train in the early years, you might recognize this microphone model as the one that Don Cornelius handheld when he was interviewing people on the Soul Train TV show. Why would I buy this microphone? Well, I'm about to start a television show called American Soul, which is all about Don Cornelius and the starting of the Soul Train TV show. Who knows? I might be able to rent it to production. What I do know is that when I looked at the microphone specifications, I smiled because one of the spec specifications it listed was very old school, and if you were to buy this microphone, you might look at it and panic. You've heard me tease it twice now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the old school microphone specification sheet. And what we're going to be looking at is the sensitivity, listed as 0.18 millivolts per microbar or negative 74.9 dBV. Negative 74.9. And you might be thinking, well, I remember my preamps on my USB audio interface only go up to plus 60 dB of gain. I can't possibly drive this microphone. You might be surprised, but in order to show you, I got to jump over to the computer. So let's go. Real quick, if you have not already watched my video on microphone sensitivity, you might start there because there's a lot of good information in that video that feeds into the video you are now watching. But I digress. In that video, I mentioned how one Pascal is equal to 10 microbars and the difference in decibels is 20. So you can imagine if you're running a formula where you're trying to compare your sensitivity between Pascals and microbars, they're going to be skewed by maybe 20 dB based on what you are doing in the formula. Now, I'm not going to tell you the formulas and tell you, oh, you need to do this all by hand. No one really does this stuff by hand anymore. When you have a wonderful website like the one down in the description and you're now looking at on the screen, to do all the calculations for you. Now, how can I be sure that the specifications on my D120 microphone are indeed comparing the microbars versus the Pascals with regards to sensitivity? Well, let's go to the old school microphone specification sheet and check it out. I'm going to zoom in here and look right here. Millivolts microbars. And that is negative 74.9. So now let's go into the step number two. Old right there, notice. Sensitivity is going to be negative 74.9. When I hit calculate, and it's going to tell me the millivolts per Pascal, I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to go up to the new standard, and I'm going to plug in that millivolt and then click calculate to see what it would be in modern sensitivity. And that's negative 54.89, basically rounds up to negative 55. Now, how can I be sure that this is the same as what it would be if AKG were to do their microphone specifications, you know, test right now? Well, you'll have to go to AKG's website, click right here on the D120 specification sheet, bring it up and scroll down. And right here, you'll see that it says, negative 54 dB right there, negative 54 dB. Now, that's pretty close. I mean, it's only a little bit off. As a matter of fact, it's not even a full dB. I'm going to use negative 55 as a basis for what I'm going to be doing in the rest of this video, because to me, I'm going to go off of the old school spec and the conversion because that's what my microphone actually is. For all I know, they could have changed something on the inside of the microphone, and in doing so, it might have added a little bit of sensitivity change to that. Now, how can you use this website as a sidebar here? How can you use this website to benefit you today? Well, if you remember and recall from my other video, I said that the microphone sensitivity in decibels right now, if it says negative 20, then you would basically add a positive, positive 20 in gain to whatever your input level is, and that's going to give you about a normal level for your microphone. So if I have a sensitivity, let's say of negative, if it says negative 45, if I add positive 45 of gain to that microphone input and, and basically gain it up 45, then I'm going to create an average level as a general rule. 
Now, what if you happen to have a microphone like the Sennheiser MKH-50, which does not happen to have this information on there? It just mentions millivolts per Pascal. Well, remember what I said in the other video about how there is no standard for manufacturers to create a data sheet across the globe. They're basically going to do whatever they want to and change whenever they want to and however they want to, which is how AKG went from the D120 and using the old specifications to now the new specifications by creating their data sheets. Mind boggling, but it is a truth we have to live with. So I'm going to take this 25 millivolts per Pascal and I'm going to now plug it into the 25 decibels per pa one Pascal right there and come to <laughs> what a fool. Okay, that was wrong because <laughs> you can see exactly where my error was. Instead of plugging in, in 24 millivolts, I actually plugged it in as sensitivity. What I needed to do was plug it in there into millivolts and then hit calculate. There you go. Negative 32 decibels for one volt Pascal. Now let's put this to the test. I'm going to take this microphone and plug it into my sound device's Mix Pre 6. Let's see what happens when I give it 75 decibels of gain. I am nervous to get close to it. It is so sensitive right now. Oh, I'm barely talking into it. If I back it way off. Can I bring up my voice any? I'm still just barely over a whisper. And this thing is peeking out of my meters. This is as loud as my volume is on the CAD Equitechi 100 I'd normally use. I can't get close to this thing. And if I were to talk into it right here, it is so sensitive. So let me back down on that gain down to a more modest level and see what happens. There we go. 55 dB is a much better level for this microphone than the 75 dB was before. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. As a matter of fact, the distance that I'm currently off of this mic is about the same as Don Cornelius used to use when he was hosting the Soul Train TV show. He didn't shove the microphone straight in his mouth, nor did he put it in the mouths of anybody he was interviewing. He kept a little bit of distance, and the cardioid pattern helped to reject out the music and all the noise and clapping of the studio. So there you have it. Nothing to be scared of, and definitely nothing that should prevent you from buying a vintage microphone, unless I'm the person that you're bidding against. So thank you for tuning into this episode of Sound Speeds, and be sure to tune in the future for more sound knowledge, whether old school or new school, and sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below, or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.